Hello everyone, Lethirkeen Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Chrono Trigger Ending Rush. The main goal of what I'm doing now is to get all of the different endings that are available for this game. I've already beaten the game once, this is just an ending rush. And I did first play this over on my Twitch channel, which I'm going to have a link for in the description below. I do also want to let you know that if flashing lights are not a thing that you can handle, this is not the series for you. I'm going to have a link uh, in the little eye icon, eye icon over here um, to another series that will actually be like more safe for you to watch. So go check that out up there if that's your speed. But enough talking, let's get into it. We are... Oop, wait, get out of this menu before I lose my sanity. And we... Oop, nope, not load, we save on the save states. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't have save states any other time that I go to play this game. Can you bats please just leave me alone? Oh no. I feel sneeze coming on. I... Uh, is it... Is it... Is it coming? Is it... Make up your mind! <laughs> we'll find out, I guess, if I got a sneeze or not in like 10 minutes. Hey, uh, Magnus, can you stop being ominous for like a second? Look, we get it. You're having your angsty teenage phase. I do. I do, buddy. Um, but can you just join the party already? Like, I, I would rather just have you in my party. Can we just do that instead? You know, what would Shala think of this? I think she'd be a little bit disappointed in you. And I think part of your mother, the Karen, is showing. Magnus. Oh, yeah. It's that stupid frog. Kissed any princesses lately? I forgot about that line. Aw, okay, this is self-affirming in reading this anyway. I rather enjoy this form, and I owe it all to you. I have a lot of range for vocals. Should I, do I turn up do I turn up the volume? Um, hello? Oh yeah, the miasmine. I am dying to use it. Please, just let me use it to kick your butt. Pretty sure you were a baby. Rented it on VHS, I'm pretty sure. We were moving. I remember the theatrical re-release of 101 Dalmatians. I had that one on VHS. Before Aladdin was released, which my grandmother took me to see both films in theaters for my 6th and 7th birthday. And my grandfather gave me the VHS of Aladdin. Ooh. Can you... Can you... Can you not... I think maybe I was supposed to have brought a... Uh... Why am I having a moment? I'm having a moment. Still have the tape, by the way. I... <laughs> I would love to have some of my tapes back. Um, but I also don't have anything to play them on. I think the most retro I get. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna love this. Great, thanks. Wonderful. I don't have any fire. So we're just gonna hit. Yasmin decreases his magical defense. Oh, I see. I see, I see. That's fine. Um... So, my PlayStation 2 still functions, and it can still very clearly play PlayStation 1 games. I've found a way to stream off of my PlayStation 2. And I have to say, overall, I'm kind of impressed with that. But it involves using an HDMI or an AV to HDMI upscaler 
and then feeding that directly into uh, into my Elgato to record. But I never owned a copy of this game, so I can't even risks casting a spell. What you mean risks? Um, does anyone need heals? No. I mean, I guess I could hasten while I'm here. Might as well. Yeah, if I just keep this all on, uh, using Chrono, maybe I should actually read the top bar when it pops up. That might, that might also help. I'm gonna hasten Chrono, because this guy just, he moved, we moved so fast. It is rather impressive. In all the times I've played this game, you're still salty about Magnus? Yeah. Oh, boo-hoo, you're using your strongest attack. Wah. <laughs> you did literally nothing to me. Literally nothing. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, no, wait. I wanna do... Aura. Do the lesser. I might as well just do that. A lot of times we play this game so salty that he doesn't learn geyser. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few other attacks that I just kind of wish. Like some other people got to got to know. Oh. Yeah, he was fine. I beat him. No problem. Not... Hey, Mara leveled up. Now she can actually survive Lavos' attacks. <laughs> right, phase two. What have I done to the Miasmine? Um... Well, let me just reflect on all of the dark magic I performed. Look, I'm not scared of Lavos. I've beat him six... Twelve times now, because three times I tried to get that, uh, Unknown Peoples ending. Fun fact, Magnus's health in the fight is 6,660. Of course it is. Of course it is. Can you get lost? I'm, like, dealing with a whole bunch of gnats in my house, because it's just that time of year. And I inhaled one of them while playing Skyward Sword. And I was like, I... Just no. Oh, well, there goes your frame rate. This is what happens when you summon gods. Slash aliens. Your frame rate just takes a dip. Oh, okay. No, it's just they, they, they wanted to time a lava scream in there. Because I was pretty sure for a good solid second and a half that my audio cut out and everything broke. I'm more inclined to believe that my audio broke than the villain does anything. So if this is that dream, right, where Marl is waking up Chrono in their own house and honey, you'll be late for work. Does that mean that she gives up being a princess? Because like clearly they're in his house. We have to be getting a view of the future, right? Can't keep sponging off my dad, go out and get a job. Jeez, okay. Why don't you go back to being a princess? Ugh. You bring you bring home the money. What if I don't want to do it? What if I just want to sit here and be a YouTuber? Ah, my face. I just hit my face. I didn't need it. Isla! Chrono awake. Yes. Had strange dream. Went to Mystic Mountains. Everyone lie there hurt. He's gone. He's gone, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. 
Isla's one of my favorites. <laughs> Blue haired one more tasty. Yes. Kind of makes it fun when you cause 9,999 damage to him, which you accomplished by using Frog and Robo in Super Vault. Ooh. I'm telling you, I will never ever see her as having a scarf. I'm convinced that she just has a tail. Like, I know it's very clearly meant to be a scarf. I would rather think it's a tail. Fully convinced. We're all just taking naps together. Hey, Kino! Uh, I live busy looking for La Ruba, right? Fight reptites together. Northwood is burning. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so what is the point of no return? Is this the Northwoods? This is the Northwoods, right? Yeah. I want to swap out my party a little. Okay, first off, we're swapping those. Yeah, because uh, I think I'm going to have you two go with Isla later. And this is the grind spot, right? Yes. Yeah. If I recall, you can get this ending with Isla after getting the dactyls. Okay. Worst case scenario, I think I'll save it over nine before getting the dactyls. Just, just in case, so this way we just have a thing ready. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. This is not all Isla's fault. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I wonder if the old man is actually like her gramps or something. And I wonder what age they're considering to be old man, because... Like, in prehistoric days, the lifespan wasn't super crazy. I think you get to, like, 65? Usually. Um, but what's interesting is, in ancient Rome, you were looking, like, 80, 90? Something like that? Usually use Robo, Isla, and Chrono, because Twister is an O-P-A-O-E. Ooh. Yeah, so far my golden team has been uh, Chrono Marl and Luca currently, but when I beat the game the first time, I used Magnus. Gandalf Beard makes me think 70, 75. I can see that. Although I'm sure if I just let my man... Let him. I'm sure if my man just let his beard keep going, he could get to that length in like a few years. <laughs> and he's already starting to get the salt and pepper thing going. A little bit, not not a lot. Remember, you have to have Isla this time. Got it. That helps. I don't know who I'm... I'm gonna have to farm with Isla together. Where did she say she was going? I didn't... I don't remember. I should have paid a better attention. Um, meteors... I completely forget where they said Isla was going. Dactyl nest, thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I, I should probably read what's going on. Are these, these aren't the rocks that I want to farm, are they? The rocks I want to farm are the ones that... Oop. Oh, are the ones that are in the floating islands, right? Gets locked here till zeal. Got it. We're just gonna do some basics. Make sure we get a little bit of everybody. Schist? Is that what it said? Got a fang, a petal. Oh, that's right, I could trade for things. 
right. All the way up. Oh, not you things. Why do I feel like this is the part that I've just recently uploaded onto my channel? Why do I feel like that? I don't know if there's any truth to that. Uh, I guess thanks for the late join, Luca. Whoo! Ah, whoop. Mid ether. Your schists. You're talking about the rubble turret orb things. But lock techs and items. Yeah, I was thinking for some reason of the ones in the, the floating mountains that like have a near almost impossible like hit rate. Man, that's some killer moves. Bye bye. Might as well grind up items and stuff, at least. Ah, uh, there we go, there's that. I might have to end up pulling up a map of this place later. I'm not sure. Okay, there's definitely one of you here, so I gotta do something about it. I would just like the gnat to die, please. Not the apes with wings, the gnat that's flying around my house. One's driving me insane. Also, a friendly reminder to drink your water, because we have been going for a little bit now. And I forgot, so... Rubble is on Mount Woe, and the giants called the turrets are on the Blackburn. I remember that part. And the orbs are in the Omen. Okay, so there was more than just one of those to grind up for for levels and techs and stuff. I thought it was only the rebels on Mount Woe. So this is kind of a nice, pleasant... Miso mail, that's right. Yes, this is kind of a nice, pleasant surprise to me. Aviation Rex. Bye! Oh, 996! That would've been perfect if it was just 999. I have to say, I think Rainbow might be my favorite sword. So there are a few grindies, good to know. Yeah, Rainbow might be my favorite sword, not just because of, like, how much damage this thing clearly does, but I just like the... the animation design that they went into... with the sword. Like, I just like the coloration. I'm trying hardcore to debate if I should take Isla. Yeah, you're not going alone. We refuse to let you go alone. Refuse to let you go alone. Yeah, we're strong. Oh, that's right, doesn't she become a requirement of the party at this point? Yes. Okay. So these three are going to be my party. We're going to do Chrono, Isla, and Marl, because Marl's got the best heals that I have available to me. I am going to have to change around some of my items. Yeah! Woo! Okay, there we go. There's that. I'm just getting off that. I need... That's the wrong button. I keep doing that every time. So, what I need... Twitch, let my eyeball figure this out. Hold up. Hold up. What am I doing? What am I doing? Isla. <laughs> um... Prevents lock. Uh, give her that one, I guess. Oh, magic defense goes up. I can't pass that up. Oh, wait. Didn't I give her the red vest? Yeah, I can't pass up giving her the cape. At least for this fight. She's gonna need it. 
Wow. All right. Um, what do I have for her currently? Which is why grinding is wholly unnecessary in this game. Yes, the rainbow is the best sword. Second, I'd say, is tied between the beefed up Miasmine and the brave sword for frog. Yeah. Um, I think, I think this is what I'm going to want to go with. I do want to do a little bit of grinding, not because, not because I'm trying to actually grind for levels, but what I want to do, I don't think I have all of her techs unlocked. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I'm uploading more Chrono Trigger Ending Rush. Take care, everybody.